guys so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really pretty swan mask if you'd like to learn how to do this then keep on watching so the first thing you're going to want to do is lay on uh, the base of the design and this is definitely design you're going to want to do um, if you have a little bit more time um, it's a little lengthier so if you have a long line forget so about it and apply this to my eyelids so let's put that on and if you have a um, rainbow cake that has some lighter blues and purples and pinks, then that would expedite this whole process. And you can drag this blue just a little out on the corners of the eye. And you'll probably want your sponge to be mostly dry for this, so it's just a pretty wash of color. I'm going to take some more of that Diamond Effects White, load it on there really well. And now I'm going to take some Diamond FX Metallic Purple and do the same thing, just with the purple paint dry. I'm adding it to my white. I'm going to test that on my hand to make sure it's not too deep. It's good. So I'm going to go from here and just add some purple up in a curved, uh, a curved pattern, going from the beginning of the eyebrow up just like that and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my metallic white and that pretty coral color and add that to the white. And it's just like a very bright, makes it like a bright flush. It's really pretty. And I'm going to go down and then kind of into the cheek area with that. And this kind of acts as the blush, sort of. I'm going to put it up here in the middle and along the sides to tie it all together and make it look like one uniform, cohesive base. Okay, so there's the beginning. It's just a very, very soft base of blue, purple, and that coral color, and it all has a really pretty sheen. Now I'm going to take the Diamond FX um, regular white, and for me, a number three round brush works best I'm going for to this. Take the white, and about in the middle of the forehead, um, just a little bit past your eyebrow, you're going to do a circle, and then go down in an S shape, and end it right in front of the eyebrow. And now just. Thicken up that S shape a little bit because that's kind of the neck and the body of the swan. And perfect your circle. Just want everything to be nice and clean. And fill it in. I'm going to take some more of that white and do five teardrops right in the center. So I'm going to start about right here. And do a long one. And then just do one, two, one, two. And then I'm going to do a little upside down heart. So push the brush, put your brush right on its tip, and then press it down to get that cute little heart. Now I'm going to start doing the body of the swans. So the first step is to start right in this little area between your the eyebrow and the swan's neck. I'm going to start right there and go up in kind of a S um, shape, end it in a point, and then mimic that going back down. So make sure your shape starts in a point and ends in a point. Okay, so right in between the head and this shape, you're going to do a series of three teardrops. So starting from the middle, push on your brush and go down, and do two more. Okay, and three more on the bottom, and this time you're going to follow the shape, go under, Pull it again, but a little bit smaller, and then just a little one kind of straight out. This point, you're going to move to the lower corner, or this the outer corner of your eye, and lightly on your brush, you're going to go down in an S shape, 
and swirl it. And you're gonna do a, make it a double swirl. Like that. And a little one starting from the same corner going the other direction. And make this one a double as well. And then from here, I'm going to do a series of three more teardrops. So we're going to kind of follow the line going that way and do a smaller one. And one more. And the same thing going this way. So kind of follow that line. One more. Okay. And to bring these two together, just a little heart. Like that. I'm going to do a little dot right there. You can maybe do two little dots. And then a little um, upside down heart coming out from here. And then a few dots. So a big dot. And then just go smaller as you go around. So a big one. And then go smaller. Now I'm going to do a big dot right in the center right here and then two smaller ones to kind of bring the whole thing together. So I'm going to repeat everything I did here on this side and I will be right back. Okay, so there you go. We got it done on both sides and almost done. Just have a few more details. The next thing I'm going to do is take some Diamond FX Orange on that number three brush again, but you can use whatever size brush you like. And um, about a little lower than the very middle, we're going to do the beak. And you're just going to make it point up because that makes them look a little prettier. So up and down. And you want to make them relatively small as now well. Now get the skinniest brush you have. I have a zero, so that's what I'm using. And some black, and you want to be really light-handed with this, and we're not going to put on much at all, just a tiny little bit to finish it off. And as lightly as you can, I'm going to outline the head of the swan. go just like that and go in just a little bit past the neck area and not all the way to this line over there though and outline the beak And then at the very top of the beak, you're going to continue that line to do the eye, and we're going to do a closed eye. So about right here, just really lightly, do a little squiggly shape, and then do a couple eyelashes. Okay. And that is the eye. So I'm going to do that over here. Okay, so there you go. You got your two pretty little swans. I'm just going to take some iridescent glitter, um, dampen my finger, and put some of that on to make it even more fancy. All right, so it's all done. Um, if you are in a crunch for time, you can always just do this on one side of the face, just to make it an eye design. You can also cut out the entire lower portion and just make it the two little swans, because that's the whole swan body really right there. This is just kind of pretty stuff. So that's what you can do if you're in a hurry. I hope you guys liked it. Let me give you a closer look. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. Bye!